Hi guys, welcome to today's YouTube video. And today's video is all about how to do or create a relationship checkup. Now, a lot of times I hear about how we get really busy and we stop paying attention to one another, or um, we feel like we're just roommates, or you know, I don't really know who this person is anymore. Um, you know, we kind of feel like the relationship has flatlined. And so I think it's important to really talk about how do we come together and even create a ritual of how we come together and check in to see how the relationship's going. And there's many different ways that we can do this. And a lot of times, the other thing I hear in, um, in the therapy room is, you know, we need help with quote unquote communication. Now, that can mean so many different things and it's very general. So today, it's when I talk about communication, it's how to communicate uh, how, how you think the things are going in the relationship, what are some things that you'd like to see happen that could be different in the next you know, month, three months, six months, nine months, year, and what are your relationship goals and what are your individual goals. So let's kind of break it down. The first thing that I'm gonna have you do is really talk about how to commit to creating a couples meeting. And this couples meeting can be either weekly or bi-weekly, and at minimum, once a month. And really, it can be 30 minutes, and really you come together and you kind of just talk about how are we doing. Now, the one I'm talking about right now is, you know, come together and just say, let's have a couples meeting. It's almost like in business, having a strategy meeting where um, you're gonna strategize how you think things are going in the relationship and um, kind of plan out what are some hopes and dreams that you'd like to see happen in this next year. And then break it down. And as I've said in my other videos before, we go kind of big and then we go to small. And um, the big picture doesn't have to be like you know exactly what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. It's just like you're creating this idea of what you'd like to see happen. And then the small steps could be more concrete or more practical of things that you're going to do every day or every week to really honor your relationship. So, you know, start one with a couples meeting or the strategy meeting, relationship strategy meeting, if you want to call it that. The other thing is during that meeting, I want you to talk about, as I've already said, like what are your goals? What are some things that you'd like to see happen in your relationship uh, in the next month, in the next three months, and maybe even all the way going up to the next year? Maybe it's uh, working on a vacation or, you know, even just saying we'd like to do more things that um, help us honor the relationship every day. Or, you know, we want to work on um, getting rid of our debt or we want to work on uh, talking about whether or not we don't want to have children or we want to work on getting married. Whatever that might be is really kind of take some time to talk about big picture and then it's going into setting those small goals. And, you know, and from that, I want you to talk about what are some rituals of connection. And I know I've talked about this a lot in my other videos, but what are rituals of connection that really help bring us closer together every day? Dr. Gottman talks about this a lot, small things often. What are small ways that you nurture the relationship? And so, you know, what you want to do is you want to talk about what are we doing right now that is creating rituals of connection? And what are some things that maybe we'd like to incorporate? So if you haven't had a date night in a long time, maybe start being more mindful of once a month, we wanna have a date night. And, um, or just, you know, once a week, we wanna tell each other what we really like or about one another or what we appreciate. You know, just things that really help bring you closer together. You know, what are our moments of connection and what are our rituals of connection and really being able to identify those. The other thing Gottman talks about that I really like, and I'm sure I've talked about in some other videos, um, he calls it the magic five and a half hours. And this is where he kind of gets that small things often. It's, he talks about in a week, if couples turn towards one another um, in a full week, just five and a half hours, which if you think about it, that's not a lot of time, then their relationship will be stronger. And so he kind of breaks it down into creating rituals of partings and greetings. You know, how do you say goodbye at the beginning of the day and how you say hello at the um, at the end of the day. He talks about creating a stress reducing conversation where you really just, you come together and you kind of talk about your stressors of the day. 
And then he goes through a couple of other things. And this is in his book, The Seven Principles to Making a Marriage Work, which I highly recommend. Um, but it's, you know, what I want to tell you guys is just being mindful of how are we turning towards a relationship and turning towards one another instead of just getting caught up in the busyness of life, which we all can do very easily. You know, um, Esther Perel is another one that I've talked about, and even on her website, she has a free intimacy inventory. I highly recommend couples going to that and taking it and see what they come up with. In her book, uh, Mating in Captivity is another great one that just talks about how to create a sense of aliveness in your relationship and uh, desire, no matter how long you've been together or going through um, the book, The Five Love Languages. And as I've said in other videos, the five love, uh, what's your love language? How are you communicating love to your spouse or partner? And how does your spouse communicate love to you? And what fills up your love tank? You know, so those are three, the Gottman um, book, The Seven Principles, Esther Perel's book, Mating at Captivity, or her intimacy inventory on her website, and The Five Love Languages, go take it you know, with your partner as a way to really get to know one another and use those as tools on how they're strengthening your relationship. And, you know, and so those are some things that when you come together and do a relationship checkup, it's, you know, if you've done the five love languages and you kind of talk about how are we communicating love to one another? When are the times that I really need, um, need to hear love and not just an I love you, but what really makes me feel full in terms of my love tank? Uh, how are we participating in intimacy and not just sexual, but intimacy emotionally? How are we coming together and really um, having conversations or connecting in ways that we don't do with anybody else? So those are, you know, and once you start to identify that, you not only are doing a checkup, but you're creating a plan. Just like in business, when you're strategizing of, you know, what are our goals or what are projected goals for the, for the next year, um, as a couple, it's like, what do we want in terms of the next year, but what are we doing every day that helps us get there? So what do we want our relationship to look like is a question I often ask couples. And what's my role in that? Not what do you want the other person to do, it's what, what's my role in that? And, um, and most importantly, how are we creating aliveness and joy together? How do we create space for understanding? And, you know, so really looking at those pieces and kind of chunking it out. So relationship checkup is creating space for a couples meeting to really go through, you know, what is our goals um, as a couple. You can even bring in what are our goals individually. When are the times that we're going to sit down and really, um, well, not just sit down, but what are the ways in which we're going to connect or what are going to be our rituals of connection in our relationship what's our love language how are we participating in intimacy what are the small things we're going to do every day that helps us turn towards each other what are the things that create aliveness in our relationship or and joyful moments and how do we let each other know that um, these are the ones that are really important to us and you know and so and what do we want our relationship to look like and how do we communicate those um, needs versus wants? How do we communicate that you're really in a space where you feel close and connected to one another? All right, guys. So these are just some hints. I'll include the links to the to Gottman, Esther, Perel, and um, the five love languages. And, you know, go through and check some of those out. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly updates all about relationships. And most importantly, contact your spouse or partner today and make some time to create a couples meeting to go through some of your goals for the next month, three months, six months, and even a year. All right, take care.